Oh my gosh, that's so freaking dope. The guy's looking like at the tiger moray eel. Oh my gosh, such a cool little fish. He's gonna grow up into a beast. Oh. Hey yo, what is going on Aqua Beast? Welcome back to another one. It's uh, probably looking a little different around here. Uh, I left home, Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm at school, North Carolina, Wilmington. And this year we actually have a house, me and some buddies. And uh, so I'm gonna kind of give you a little tour of just the college life. And then we'll get to the, uh, the fish tank I'm gonna set up, the eel tank, which should be pretty incredible. I'm talking about some pretty rare eel stuff. So anyway, let's give you a little tour of the place. But yeah, this is the UNCW college crib per se. You know, the Beastie Mobiles out here, but uh, give you a little tour and then we'll get to the tank. I guess I'll take you guys back. Backyard, why not, why not? Nothing too crazy back here, but a little area to, you know, have some fun. A little die table action and stuff. But uh, it's kind of weird. We don't have a back door, so you just have to walk into the front. But yeah, just a little area. Like I said, just a little house tour before we get to the tank. That I've, it, I've been in school for like a month and a half and haven't even touched this tank. So I'm excited to do so. But yeah, welcome to the house. Got the living room action in here. We have a 125 gallon with my African lungfish named Lenny. I've had him for like eight years now. Last year he was in a 55 gallon in an apartment that we had to sneak in. But anyway, now he's living the luxury life in the living room out here. So, uh, but yeah, so actually I'll feed him real quick. I left some shrimp to thawed. He should be pretty hungry and he's pretty fun to watch eat. He's huge actually. Let me show you with like an arm here. He's a beast. Um, but yeah, it's kind of foggy because I added sand not too long ago, but that really shows you how large that fish is. But here, let's see if he wants some shrimp, which I know he does. Oh gosh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, <laughs> it's wild every time, but he's actually gonna like swallow that and then chew on it and spit it out and then chew on it and spit it out. But yeah, it's so wild how he does that. But yeah, so now that he's fed, you know, left him one more shrimp for later. But yeah, he's becoming massive and I want to get him as big as I can in this tank. He's got, he's got the penthouse now. He's living his life. But yeah, Lenny the African lungfish. But anyway, we leave the living room. You know, we got the little kitchen action in here. You know, Gunther's whipping up some chicken or something. I don't know what he's doing in here. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you know, kitchen, you know. Anyway, though, we'll get over to my room where we're going to get to the tank. And actually, i got to show you Bo, who's chilling right here, my leopard gecko. But yeah, she's, she's slumped right now. Um, on the heat pad, but uh, but yeah, she's got a pretty sweet little tank and she's been with me for also probably seven to eight years. But anyway, this is my room. Um, yeah, so I got, this is the 40 gallon tank I will be setting up, but but yeah, basically this is just my room, you know, got a rep the Aqua Beast little collection right here with the hats and stuff. And then, uh, you know, TV, more hats, the fish picks, you know, my, my tarpon and my biggest bass ever. But, uh, you know, where I'm doing homework and all that awful stuff. But anyway, let's get to the tank. We, I have a 40-gallon tank. It's, like, literally a year-old tank, so the tank's gorgeous. Like, the glass is just so much cleaner than that 125. Um, but, uh, but anyway, I've not even looked through any of this stuff yet. This setup was for a turtle, but I want to do uh, an eel tank, which I'll explain right now. But yeah, so basically I want to do, um, if you don't know, it's a freshwater tiger moray eel. So it's like a saltwater moray eel, the big green ones, if you know what that is. Um, this is the freshwater version and they're gorgeous. I'll actually throw up a picture up here for you to look at. Freshwater tiger moray eel, they've they're kind of gotten huge into the hobby recently and I've always wanted one. They're really cool. So I think I'm going to order one of those. I want to do either a black spotted or a tire track eel and a fire eel. So it'd be those three eels in this 40 gallon. I'll get them all at smaller sizes so they can grow quite a bit in this tank before I have to upgrade them when I bring them back home to the fish cave, which if you're new here, uh, check out the fish cave back home. Check out my old videos. That'll tell you a little bit more about the channel, but go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell. And uh, we're basically, today I'm gonna get it filled up. I'm gonna get live plants for this, scape it, the whole thing. Um, but yeah, let's get after it.
All right, yeah, so uh, everything's set up. I got the LED. I put some pothos from Lenny's tank uh, in there, which will help with, you know, well, water quality, which is awesome, and they look sweet. But anyway, let's turn these LEDs on. We're gonna turn these LEDs on and plug the filter in, and it really should come to life. But uh, anyway, it's looking really good. It's crystal clear, we got the background up, but I'll show you, we'll get the lights on, we'll get the filter on. We'll see how she do. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking dope. The Aqua Beast up top. That's sick. I'm so, I cannot wait to get fish in there and plants, sand. It's gonna be so great. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let the water flow. This tank is gonna be amazing. Stay tuned. I can't go tonight because it's too late, but I'm gonna go get sand, live plants in the next one. We'll finish off this tank before we get the eels. Stay tuned, it's gonna look amazing. The tank is officially scaped with everything else. Check this out. I am so stoked about this. It's uh, it's starting to really come together now. A lot of live plants in there, driftwood, rocks. And I really like this bottle. Fish can, like I said, swim all the way through it, which I think with an eel would be so incredible. Um, but yeah, just so stoked at this project as a whole. And it's only gonna get better with fish and it's only gonna get better with the eels specifically. Hey, oh, Aqua Beast. Today is the day the eel has arrived. I actually, it was supposed to get in 6 to 9 p.m. tonight. It came in early, and I'm looking at it right there. Uh, it got delivered already. Uh, one of my roommates let me know, so I, I was gonna go to the gym after eating and, or after class, but uh, instead I rushed back here so we can get this eel in. Um, but anyway, I'm so excited. I've never had one of these. I've been wanting one for a long time. One of my good friends has one and says it's an incredible fish. But uh, I'm super stoked to order it. Hopefully everything's good. It should be should be doing just fine in there, but you know, you never know with these things. So uh, I'm gonna go make sure the tank's ready and we're gonna open up this box, get this eel in, acclimate it, stay tuned. It's gonna be amazing. Freshwater tiger moray eel. Let's freaking do it. So stoked to finally open this guy. Huge shout out to Jason's Plecos and Cichlids. Uh, it's a store close to me back home that I've not been to yet, but I heard they ship and I had to check them out and uh, I got a good deal on this. So check him out. Jason's Plecos and Cichlids. Knock on wood that this is alive. You might not want to check them out after that. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, let's walk this guy back. I'm so stoked to open them. All right, finally. But we're going to open this guy up. I'm so stoked to see what this thing looks like in person. I've seen a couple in person. Like I said, my one friend owns one of these. Um, this is about 10 to 12 inch Tiger Moray Eel fully freshwater fish. They get huge. Um, they're a gorgeous fish. But um, I was able to get him uh, for $100 off his website with shipping and stuff. But anyway, let's hope that everything's okay in here and we'll see, see what the guy's looking like. Like I said, it was supposed to get here uh, a lot later. So I was kind of surprised to get here earlier. But as you know, you know, the earlier you can get uh, fish in from shipping, the better. So, all right, this will be our first good look at the Tiger Moray eel. Oh my gosh, such a cool little fish. He's gonna grow up into a beast. Oh my God, his colors are insane. That's actually so sick. I can't wait to put some size on him, but we're gonna start acclimating here. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. And the reason I didn't wanna get a big one either is because this tank's only around 40 gallons and uh, I wanted it to have plenty of room to grow up. Anyway, we're gonna wait uh, 20 minutes, let these guys acclimate. Check out this eel real quick. He's so cool. He's so skinny, but he's gonna grow into an absolute monster and I can't wait for it. But yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna let him acclimate, which is just adjusting to the temperature and we're gonna get him in there. It's gonna be sweet. All right, finally it is time. It is acclimated and uh, we're gonna get this guy in his tank. Should be pretty cool. Come on in here a little bit. All right, I've got this guy cut. He's so cool looking in the bag. He'll look even better in this tank, um, but I'm absolutely stoked to get him in there. But uh, let's freaking do this thing. Perfect. There we 
There he goes. There we go. Into the tank he goes. <laughs> Check him out on that black sand. You can actually go on the other side. You see him on the rock. That is sick. So sick. Check him out. So freaking cool in there. Especially on that black sand. I love his colors on that black sand. And I did this rock just like this so he'd be able to hide back here, but we could still see him. He is so freaking cool. He's just wrapped around that rock. He's kind of getting used to the water, used to the environment. He's coming to say what's up on, oh my God, his colors are starting to pop too. What a cool freaking fish. Hey yo, what is going on? If you know me and you've watched the videos, you know I am the worst at getting back to you on updates. So this is actually a whole year later update on the tank and the Tiger Moray eel. And oh my gosh, he's been doing great. And there's some changes. First off, this is the new scape that I just recently did. And while he's out, I did get a tire track eel, which is absolutely gorgeous and such a cool fish. It's cool to have both eels in there. I've got some angel fish in here. I've got three angel fish at the moment. Probably get a couple more here soon, but I'm loving this new scape I recently did. These are actually all still the same plants. Some I even propagated and um, are growing now on their own too. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving this tank. I just think it looks so awesome, nice and natural. But anyway, here is the Tiger Moray. Um, definitely put on some size, nothing insane, as they're super skinny when you get them in little, but that is the tank. I think it looks freaking amazing. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and feed the, the tank and the, the eels. Um, I shredded up a little bit of shrimp, frozen shrimp. Get these guys nice and fed. Here we go. The angel fish will chew at it until it gets to the bottom, and then they will go to town. Here comes the tiger moray out of his hiding spot. Now you can really see he's put on some size, and he is, oh gosh, he's such a beautiful eel. Here we go, now he's coming out to grub. This angel stops messing with his food, and he'll just take that down like it's nothing. Such a cool thing about more eels is they actually have two pairs of jaws so their original teeth and then some that are like down their throat that can uh come up to help them eat like really large prey um but such a cool eel highly recommend but anyway the tank the fish the tiger more is doing ph phenomenal i totally recommend them awesome freaking eel they do get large so he will need a bigger upgrade which will come in the future um a lot of big upgrades coming to the fish cave it's actually eating right now. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Damn! And the, uh, the turn, oh, 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 oh. But a uh, huge shout out to Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I got here. <laughs>